so today we are going to do a tutorial on how to set up sync thing with uh, your obsidian vault i'm going to go over how you set it up on your phone and how to um, connect it to your um, laptop or um, computer you should have sync thing installed on both your uh, laptop and your um, your phone so they should be up and running your sync thing you should have a system tray basically you should have it on your system tray which is this uh this section right here all right so what we're gonna do is we're going to open up sync thingy or sync thing on the computer um what you want to do is you want to go on your phone and uh, you want to want to open up the sync thing app and you want to go to devices and press the plus sign at the top right corner and after you do that you should see a little box with a qr code what you're gonna do is um you're gonna press that and then on your computer you should have a menu here that says actions um you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna press show id um oh so what you're going to see is a QR code here and you're going to want to scan the QR code. Don't scan mine because it's not going to work. <laughs> it only works um, when you scan a device that's on your network. So you, you have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi for it. So scan your ID and then once you've done that, the close button, once you've done that, um go ahead and add a name to this and then done just press the check mark at the top right there and then you're gonna see that well first it's going to ask the other device if if um if you want to connect to it so something's gonna pop up right here at the top and it's gonna tell you hey um do you want to connect this device to your to your device and then you just click yeah or pair or whatever it says the affirmative and um then it should pop up on your list of devices down here so these are these are my devices right here. um so after you do that you're going to want to go to folders or actually we're going to do it from the from the computer so wherever your um your vault is currently that's where you want to start this process off so if you're on if your vault is on the computer all you would do is you would go to add folder and then um let me zoom out right here and then you would name your folder where it says folder label so for me i put obsidian torus study um and then you would fill out the path where your folder your vault folder is located and this uh i don't know how to pronounce it tilde or tilde character that stands for is or is a shortcut for whatever is here so my folder is in home dahlia desktop no documents and then for study that's the path to the folder that i have um it's going to be different on your on your computer so if you have a windows computer your uh, path might be c window user your username and documents and then your folder name i i believe that's how on mac i have no idea so you're you know you're gonna have to figure that one out because i have no clue how paths work on, on mac um i never got too familiar with those but on windows i'm pretty sure it's the one i meant if you have your folder your vault folder in the documents folder then you're if you have it somewhere else then just you know uh, put the correct path in in this little section right here now the vault folder vault folder is just a folder on your computer um you know don't be intimidated by the you know the terminology just it's it's just a folder simple folder just find the find the path to that folder and uh you're good to go after you have figured that out um you go to sharing here on the menu and then 
you click on the device that you want to share the folder with. So if you want to share it to your phone, you would click on your phone. Um, it might be the only de the device you have listed, so just click on whatever is listed and then uh, move on to the next uh, next thing here. We're going to go to advanced. So um, folder type. So if you want it set to where you only want your computer to be the one making changes to all the files on your phone, you would set this to send only if you don't want to receive any changes from the other device to your computer or, or vice, vice versa. If you want the changes that you make on your phone to also be, be reflected to the files that you have on your computer, then you would click send and receive so that any changes that you make on your phone are also, you know, the files that are on your phone can send to the computer or if you make changes on your computer it'll also send it send the notes and files to your phone so um you you pick whatever which one you want to do um i either have send only or send and receive but i i kind of like my phone to be a backup to my files that are on the computer so i do send only because Sometimes, you know, you're messing with your phone or whatever, or something happens, and maybe you accidentally did your phone on your phone. Well, you kind of don't want that reflected on your computer. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of iffy on that. So I do only have mindset to send only just because of that, just because I know that phones are, they, they're like a little bit iffy. So I have it to send only. And um, up here, what this does, it just... You can set it to where your device is watching for any changes that may happen. So whenever any changes do occur on the device, um, your your folder will sync. Right here, the full rescan interval, it just uh, sets the time, the intervals in which you would like it to do a full rescan of your files so that it can sync all of them up. So this, I have it set to the default. I, I really don't. I really don't care when it does the full rescan, as long as it's watching for changes um, periodically. Um, I don't need to change anything here, so you just, after you're done with all of that, just click on save. I'm going to click on close because I already have this set up on my sync thing. And once you do that, you should get a notification on your phone asking you if you would like to add the folder to your um your sync thing or whatever along those lines something along those lines and you're gonna want to click yes or add or sync and after you click accept um, you're going to want to create a folder to where all of your files will go to um, so you want to make it in inside of your phone and um, you're gonna create a folder you're going to add um, a name to the folder for sync thing and you you're gonna want to set the folder type whether you'd like it to receive only or send send and receive and um, after that it should um, sync up just fine after that it's going to do an initial um, initial scan on the files it's going to send the files to your device and then after it's done after it's done scanning and, and syncing it's going to um it's it's just gonna it's just gonna be idle until you make changes to your notes on your computer so whenever you make changes on your computer if you ticked that uh waiting for changes um setting on it should automatically um sync up to your phone once you've made those changes i forgot to mention that after you create a folder within sync thing uh, from the last step um, you're going to want to go to your obsidian app um, and press on open a folder as vault and 
you want to find the folder that you created and open that as a vault. Uh, reason being is that all the files that come from your computer are going to be in there and that is where your vault is going to be so you want that to be open as your vault on your phone as well um, so yeah so there you go that's uh it's simple it's not you know it's not difficult it's just you're new to sync thing you know it's just but you know you'll get the hang of it once you use it after a while maybe you want to sync your phone photos to you oh, down the road you can also set that up too if you'd like if you get you know comfortable enough with um with the uh, sync thing just just be mindful of that that sending and receive option um you want to make sure that you set that correctly because one one device can change the other device and the files on that device and if you have it to where maybe you send files from your you send like pictures or whatever whatever pictures you have on your phone if you have it syncing to your laptop and then one day you decide maybe you need space and you delete all the pictures on your on your computer it's if you have it to send and receive it's going to reflect that on your phone so be mindful of that setting because it can it can totally just you know, wipe you out if you're not careful so you can also pause pause folders also so that you just pause the whole syncing process um maybe after after you sync your pictures to your, your laptop or whatever if that's something that you want to do with sync thing but you know there's there's many things that you can do with sync thing but i'm just showing you how to set it up for your obsidian vault folder which really can be used for any any folder honestly um so yeah i hope this tutorial was easy for you to follow and um let me know in the comments if there's anything that you have a problem with or, or an issue with or you're stuck on something just let me know and i will try my best to answer any questions or to help you out in the in any way that i can all right shalom